unique program that uses those postcards to showcase some creativity. How cool! Exactly. Meet Paul Basie. Hi, Paul. Hi, Paul. Hi, Paul. Good, good. So good they're all saying hi, Paul. So tell us where you work and what the postcard art is all about. Well, I work at the Short Center North, which is part of the uh, Developmental Disabilities Services Organization. And um, the postcards are because we're in this sort of shutdown or lockdown. I was sending postcards to some of our artists um, to draw lovely pictures on and send them back to me and also my boss. And here's a couple of great examples of them right here that you can see on the screen. And uh, it's been a really exciting project. Basically, you know, when I get the mail every day and there's a postcard in there, it's a, a real treat instead of just looking at, you know, bills or political <laughs> stuff, which is pretty, you know, all over. The, and um, so this has been a lot of fun. And we're going to so, continue but the, it. The people that you help are developmentally disabled adults. Adults, yeah. adults and you're yeah. saying the short center because it was named after? Alan Short, who was, I believe, a state senator, and he had a child that was uh, disabled, and he started this program. There's one in Stockton and two here in Sacramento. It's a really, really beautiful program. It's been around for a couple of decades, and I'm really happy to be a part of it. Okay, and you offer various art classes, and so a lot of the students aren't able to do their art, and this is why you came up with a postcard art. Yeah, they're all, you know, they're stuck at home like everybody else. So this is a way that they can continue with their creative uh, efforts and share it with the world like we're doing today, you know, and uh, it's it's really nice for you guys to, you know, recognize that. Cool. Okay, what's next for the postcard art? Uh, do people get to buy it or are you going to display it anywhere? I hadn't thought about selling it, but that's a good idea, you know. You, Sorry, I'm uh, always thinking about selling something. Yeah. But um, at the very least, we could display it at the school when we get started up, or if there's somebody that has an idea, we could display it, you know, today. If that, well, it's being displayed right now, but uh, but yeah, the kind of in the back of my mind, ultimately, this will become as kind of a document of this uh, this period, you know, right now, and like how people were able to uh, participate, you know, with their art and postcards. Okay, I, I picture this: a big frame. You put four in there, you know, uh -huh. two on two, two, and then you auction them off, and they make money for the. The short center. That's a great idea. Done we'll think about that. Oh, I'm sorry. We'll we'll think about that. All right. Or a big wall and somewhere in public. Oh yeah, exactly. Uh, a big wall. All yeah, right, so. Paul Basie. There you go. And he may send more postcards out, and hopefully they'll draw or you know paint and get them back to him. Absolutely. Cool, huh? All right, guys. Back over to you. Right on. Thank you. Love that. Thanks, T.